son of a gun. Good morning, Modersteaders. This morning we're going to work on hanging our corbel and setting our ledger plate in place. Last night, Gina antiqued the corbel. I'll put that footage right here. But it came out nicely. I got to thinking this morning, I should have checked the humidity in the wood last night or yesterday, but I didn't. But the wood seems pretty dry this morning, so I wanna check the moisture content. I have a moisture meter here, because when we bought our wood stove, I was told it's the new law from the EPA that any wood stove being sold in the US has to come with a moisture meter. How a moisture meter works is it's got two probes, you jab it into the wood, hold the button, and it'll give you a reading. Let's give it a try. So right on the surface it's showing 4% moisture. Let's get in as deep as we can and it's showing 19% moisture. So we want that to come down more before we glue up anything. This board was pretty wet when we brought it in, so let's check this one. 20%, 20 almost 23% right on the surface. Inside we are getting Almost 32%. That's a lot of moisture. If you have a battery operated tool, toy, whatever, that you don't use very often, remove the battery when you're not using it. Otherwise, when you go to use it, the battery will, cor will corrode and your tool, whatever you have, will be ruined. What are you doing? You think that's a cat's jungle gym or what? I'm getting antsy to take the concrete out of the form and see what it looks like. Oh, tomorrow can't come soon enough. got our assistant back. So now to figure out the height of our desk and the width of our opening for our chair, I'm being very scientific here. Uh, no, I've gone on Mr. Google, asked him what the standard height is, checked our desks here, found out what's comfortable for us, and made some adjustments. I think in that last clip I cut my head off when I was talking to you because I was too concerned about getting Figaro in the shop. So if you didn't see me, my mouth moving, I was still talking. So we're gonna figure out the top. I'm gonna draw some nice level marks so I'll have lines to work off of once I get my core belt up and in place. I'm gonna mark on the inside of the desk 
So if the Corbel doesn't cover it, it's not going to be seen or visible from the outside. But I'll try to keep the Corbel right to the edge of it so we won't see the pencil mark. And if you do, it'll look like a shadow. It's just funny, that seems so low to the ground. But that's 28 inches. What are you doing? That's not helping. Screws we're going to be using today to install the Corbel are these four inch long tech screws. And then for our ledger board, we're going to be using these RSS. The ledger boards you won't see, so I don't mind having that up high. We're going to see the screws in our Corbel. And I'm using these ones because they're black and it'll look nicer. I'm going to apply a little bit of liquid nails. This is always the scary part. You saw it happen real time. I guess it's time for a new drill. Look at that. Oh. Man. Now I just gotta determine what drill I wanna get, I guess. Well, I can honestly say that's a first for me. I've never had that happen before. We get out the handy dandy corded DeWalt screw gun. We need to get this finished, installed at least, so that way the liquid nails doesn't dry on us. Always something, I say, always something. say I wasn't expecting to happen to think about buying a new drill set right now. <sighs> it's always hard to figure out when you're on the spot what to buy. I'm not sure what I want to buy for a kit. DeWalt or Ryobi? DeWalt or Ryobi? <sighs> I got some thinking to do. <laughs> Let's get finished up when we got Let's try finishing up what we planned on getting done today. I'll measure out the length of the ledger board and we'll get that installed. It's always something. Uh, uh, yep. Front of this core bell is a little high. So if I set my ledger plate in the back, the same height as the back of this, the whole thing's gonna be off and it could teeter. So what I'm gonna do, is take my level, make it level, mark it. Now I have a level mark to go off of. The reason I'm doing that is I want a nice level top and if I have to, I'd rather shim this back corner with a little bit and you in closer, see if you can see it. It's not a huge gap, but there's a little bit of a gap. So if I can, just fill that with some caulking or some liquid nails. Keep that edge higher in this back corner and have it straight the whole way across.
when you're upcycling or using antiques, you gotta be able to work with what you have. Last year, when I built the kitchen island, I used my joiner and I made the top and the back flat, but they're still not perfect. They're old, we want that look in the house, so now we just gotta tweak everything and get it all to work. That's what we did on the island. And that's just, I like that look. We both like that look. All right, I cut my top ledger down to length. Awesome. Let me show you one thing I did on this. So our core bell, being rough lumber and all that fun stuff, isn't the same width. But you know what, that makes a perfect shelf to make a notch in my ledger to rest the ledger on in that corner. I notched it so it's my eighth inch high in that corner. Then I can stick my level on it, level it off, screw it in place. And this acts as my hands so I don't have to try to hold the whole thing up when I'm first trying to set the first screw. So I'm gonna mark where I wanna pre-drill. I wanna hit my studs on this one. So I got one there. And one here. All right, let's stick our ledger up on one side. Boy, that cord's getting in my way. What a pain. Right there, it's good. Boy, we have it so good with cordless drills. Nice and level. I am happy with that. That's nice and secure. Everything is screwed and glued. I think that core bell is gonna look amazing with the concrete countertop on top of it. We'll get the cabinet over there for our trays built out of rough saw and lumber. Gina's gonna antique that like she did the core bell. This is gonna look awesome. It's one of those projects that you can only do a little bit here and there between waiting for the concrete to set up, waiting for our roughs on lumber boards to dry out. Now we're gonna go buy some new tools. You might be surprised at what I'm gonna go buy. I've needed new tools for over six months now. I dropped my impact driver when we were building the outdoor kitchen and broke that. I've just been putting it off. I've been doing a lot of research and doing the tool review videos with all the modern setters has really driven some points home to me personally when I've been reviewing my tools. I just got off the computer, looked up a bunch of stuff, different pricing, so I'm gonna go pick up what I need for tools and I'll share those with you in another video.